So hey guys, so I already put moisturizer on my face. Um, I put my primer. I put my foundation. Um, I put primers on my eyelid. Eyeshadow on it to set everything. Just that I think that you guys already seen my foundation routine, so it's just gonna be boring and repetitive. So I decided to just go ahead and go on with the video, and I'm going to do a fun. I don't know what I'm gonna title it. But I'm gonna do just a fun smoky eye, something different, something summery. I'm sorry, I look like just blah, because I have like no bronzer or anything on. So let's just go ahead and I went to the drugstore, um, no, I went to Ulta, and I was gonna buy like a um, higher end palette, but I thought, you know, everyone's like on a budget. Like, I, even the drugstore side is like expensive. Tell me if you guys feel the same way, because I totally feel like it's so expensive nowadays. So I went and I saw an alternative to a chocolate palette, which, oh my god, the chocolate palettes are so cute and I really wanted it, especially like the peach and the chocolate one, it's hard to So for a more affordable option for you guys, and um, this one is from the Makeup Revolution chocolate palette. I really like, look how cute, super cute, and it's um, Death by Chocolate, chocolate bar eyeshadow palette. I really like how Makeup Revolution is coming out with like dupes of higher end palettes and they're doing a really good job at it. So this is it right here. This one's a big mirror and then these are all the eyeshadows. I have the, the names for them and then these are all of them. You can tell I've definitely been using. Oh my god. My nail dug into this. So sad. But see, I'm really, I'm really liking them, and they're really pigmented. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. The first color I'm gonna go in with, it's like this really nice copper color right here. And the name of it, just in case, like you know, one of you guys want to create this look and you buy it, um, the colors tear the the wrapper. So I'm gonna go in with that color. the mirror on the actual eyeshadow palette you can see that it's so like pigmented sloppy brush and I'm gonna go in with this like pinky nude right here for my crease Let's see if I can go all up in your face there to zoom in and I'm gonna really Blend that out. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in. Then I'm gonna go in with my Equal Tools pencil brush, and I'm gonna go in with this really deep chocolate in the palette. And again, if you want to recreate this look and you want to know exactly what color I use, I use one more bar. That's the name of the color. And then I'm going to go in. So you want to go in where your crease is. So if you don't have a crease and you need to create one, kind of open your eyes and then close it to kind of know where it's at. I do have a crease, so I don't really need to create one. So you just want it to be more there because I mean you you want it to be more at the base of the eyeshadow and in between the crease because I want that pink color to kind of seep in through if that makes any sense I want it to be like a transition so I want the darker shades more concentrated on the crease and then blend it slowly up so it kind of disappears kind of like blends in really nicely and that looks really delicate And then just blend. And then I'm going to go in with that pink shade one more time. That like middle tone. And that pink shade is called Lick Me. So I'm going to go in with Lick Me. And then I'm going to go back in with Tear the Wrapper. Just because I want that to be really vibrant. And from all this blending, it kind of went away. 
there you have it right there go in with the color don't let go and I'm gonna put that in the center with my finger just because I really want it to pop and have more dimension and then with the black elf brush again I'm gonna go in and kind of blend both colors together and this is the color right here I'm gonna go in with into my brow bone to highlight a bit of more dimension I'm gonna go in with um, the color all is lost and it's kind of like a matte black but it comes out like that gray black color and it's right there and I'm gonna go again with my pencil brush and just focus this on the outer V not bringing it to length the bottom I just want it to be kind of on the top and then I'm gonna go in with the same um, Beach Cosmetics fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with that same fluffy brush and just focus it right there. Just put it back and forth, back and forth, and just diffuse it. Like I don't want it to disappear. I kind of want it to like be like there to show that, like to show like the gradient effect, to show like the dark brown on this corner, and then you see like a little bit of black, and then you see the pink through that's all I want to show so I'm just blending it lightly so that's what that looks like my equal tools detailing brush in the outer corner and I'm gonna go in with the color sorry I had this on the side I'm gonna go in with the color bring down angels and it's like a nice highlighting color and I'm going to put that color in my inner corner to make my inner corners pop. Elf um, crease brush. I'm going to go again in with that black and really, I really want this to make the eye look appear bigger. So I'm going to focus this in the outer corner and then with my BH Cosmetics brush I'm going to go in with that like pink brown color and blend it in. I really like that. It's making my eyes look bigger. You can tell from this eye to this eye this one is like more open. And then I'm going to go ahead and put winged eyeliner. Okay, so I went ahead and I applied my, my winged eyeliner with the gel. And my skin is super sensitive, so I kind of wiped with a makeup wipe like the edges. And this is what it looks like so far. It's going to be red, but don't worry. I didn't hurt myself or anything. I just had really sensitive skin. And then I tight lined with the gel eyeliner on my bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna go in with my Real Technique, my Real Techniques angled brush. And I'm gonna go in with this really pretty um, color. It's called Love You to Death. And it's like this really pretty gold with a little bit of shimmer. So it should be easy to blend and smoke out down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ooh, it's super pretty. And this is like especially really nice like purple tone for um, brown or green or hazel eyes. This is the look that I have so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara to this eye. And then do the other eye in fast motion. But look at the difference between this eye that's like all nice and lifted. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. All nice and lifted, and it looks bigger and brighter and like just like better. <laughs> just 
just like better in my opinion. Okay, now to the other eye. Then I'm going to go in with um, L'Oreal True Match in C8, the color is Coco. And I'm not going to really contour, I'm just going to do the three C's. Just to bronze out my face a little bit. I'm gonna go in with all three of them. I'm gonna go from the apples of my cheeks all the way back. And I'm gonna go a little bit on my nose. Okay, and then Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Kathleen Lights, if you're not following her, you need to follow her. She's the one that recommended this and I was like, girl, I got to have it. I got to have it. I got to have it. So I tried it. Oh, and, I'm, and I fell in love. I fell in love. It's so good. It's so nice and it's so creamy. And it's like a natural highlight. So it's not going to be like bam in your face. And that's not really what we're going for today, so we're going for something a little bit more subtle. I look sick still. The Essence Lipstick. Oh my god, this is so creamy. And it dries, and it dries matte. And it smells delicious. I can't even, can't even like explain to you what it smells like. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like your regular like lipsticks. It doesn't have like that vanilla smell that like Max lip, Mac lipsticks smell like. I don't know. It's just like a nice fresh kind of perfume smell I don't know how to explain it but it's really good so this is the final result I hope you guys liked it I hope you guys enjoyed my video if you if you did then please leave a comment down below letting me know and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, I just want to thank everybody who is following me so much for watching and until next time see you guys soon